Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to look at the period after Steve Reeves won the 1950 Mr. Universe contest. In no particular order, there were a series of events that I found very interesting. One in particular that we're going to really focus on today. But first, let's set the stage. So some of the events that happened after the 1950 Mr. Universe, in which Steve barely beat a incredible Reg Park, um, Steve got married to Sandra. He was trying to get a career going in New York at the same time with Sandra at his wife, as his wife. And he was in such musicals as Kiss Met and The Vamp starring Carol Channing. While working in the play The Vamp over breakfast, he found out that Carol Channing, the musical, had been canceled. So then he and Sandra moved to Florida where Steve bought and operated a gym, Steve Reeves Athletic Club. Unfortunately, that did not last very long, so Steve and Sandra decided to have another change in their life, and that was to unfortunately get divorced. Uh, it's important to mention that Steve and Sandra remained lifelong friends despite the divorce. So Sandra headed back to California separately from Steve. And then a short time after, Steve sold the gym in Florida and also drove back to California. So kind of setting the stage for, once again, in no particular order, random events that were happening at this time after his bodybuilding career and before the movie Hercules uh, came in and changed his life completely. So as you may know, Steve had not finished chiropractic school. And so his choices for a career were, believe it or not, pretty limited. Steve had said before that if there had been money in bodybuilding, he would have stayed in bodybuilding. We know that Steve had also been uh, in the movies Jailbait and Athena, both in 1954. So sometime in the mid-50s, Steve said okay to an artist's request to pose for paintings based upon the 12 labors of Hercules. And keep in mind that the movie Hercules was far off in the future still. And in the book, One of a Kind, Steve Reeves by Milton T. Moore. Milton talks about this period where Steve posed for a series of paintings by a gentleman named Hubert Stowitz. And that's what we're going to focus on today, Hubert Stowitz. Although Steve never realized any direct financial profit from his collaboration with Stowitz on the Hercules paintings, he does feel that the event had meaning for his life and comments. I've always believed that everything has order and that there are many patterns and connections running through our lives. I didn't have much money when four years before I starred as Hercules, Stowitz propositioned me about posing for the paintings, and he was broke and couldn't pay me a cent. But twice a week for four months, twice a week for four months, I drove more than an hour to his studio. It was a task. I didn't even like to pose for photographs, much less paintings. So think about that for a minute. Posing for paintings takes a lot longer than posing for a photograph. And the Steve Reeves we know, it's hard to imagine him driving twice a week for four months, driving more than an hour to Stowitz's studio. But something inside me, Steve says, told me that I should do it. I believe. And I get this part. I believe that because I dedicated so much of my time to those portraits, I was repaid. I had done something for Hercules, so Hercules did something for me. Wow. Now, I don't know about you, 
But I do believe that things happen for a reason. People come into our lives, and if we're open to them, things have a way of happening for us as a, as a way of repayment for doing something by helping someone else. Now, unfortunately, Hubert Stowitz died before he was able to finish these paintings. We're going to learn a little bit more about Hubert Stowitz in just a minute, but I also want to mention that Bill Pearl talks about the time that Steve Reeves came and asked Bill for a job. So here's a story that Bill Pearl shared about Steve. During this time when Steve was divorced from Sandra, he had, you know, done the plays, Kismet, the vamp. He had done Athena. He had done Jailbait. He did not get the role in Samson. He didn't finish chiropractic school. And so he really was looking for what he was going to do in his life. You know, and so he worked for American Health Studios and Burt Goodrich for a period of time in PR. But he also approached Bill Pearl. I'm going to read what Bill Pearl says about meeting with Steve Reeves. Here we go. I don't know Steve Reeves as well as some do, but I can honestly say that Steve has always been nice to me. He was always a gentleman, extremely respectful, and a really likable person. Steve came to see me at my gym in Sacramento in 1958, I think it was, or maybe it was early in 1959. Now, I don't know about those dates. Uh, could have been a little bit sooner than that. I, I don't know. We'll just go with what Bill says. He had just arrived from Florida, so he's divorced now from Sandra, and he looked like a million dollars. In fact, he was the most handsomest man I'd ever seen. He was in fabulous condition, tanned. Well, that's because he came from Florida and where he was, you know, in the gym business. And he had about a 19 inch arm, wide shoulders and a small waist. In fact, he looked better than I had ever seen him look before. He wanted a job in my place as an instructor working the floor. Must have been a tough time. It had come to that where he was willing to accept working the floor in a gym. I told him to begin with that I, I could only pay a couple of dollars an hour, and I didn't know how long a time I could even keep him there. He said to me, things are bad, Bill. I'm too old to become a plumber or an electrician. I'm not interested in that because I want to become an actor. I have a small thing going in Italy, and maybe if this pans out, I'll be all right. So what was the small thing going on in Italy? Steve and I then went out to lunch, and we talked about the weight game, bodybuilding. Then we wished each other luck, and he drove away in his little sports car. It must have been the Carmen Ghia, and I've never seen him since, except on the screen or on television. I'm happy to say the man has done very well in his chosen profession as an actor. It was a happy ending for Steve, as he had had some tough breaks as well as good ones. He sure was one of the great ones. One other thing I remember about this story is that Bill told Steve that he couldn't hire him. He said, Steve, I have too much respect for you, and so I just can't have you work here. It's beneath you. And so then that's when they went out to lunch and they talked weightlifting. So getting back to Hubert Stowitz and what Steve Reeves said about there are connections and life weaves these patterns where people come into your life. Let's learn a little bit more about Hubert Stowitz. Okay, so I'm just reading from Google. Hubert Julian J. Stowitz was an American painter and ballet dancer. J. Stowitz, St. Hubert, Julian J. Stowitz, I guess his nickname was J, J-A-Y, was born on June 26th, 1892 in Rushville, Nebraska. His family moved to Los Angeles and Stowitz attended the University of California, Berkeley and was a track athlete, very good track athlete. He was the captain of the track team from 1911 to 1915. 
While he was at Berkeley, he became involved in dramatics or drama, performing in several theatrical productions and helping with sets for the theater and the senior ball. To please his parents, he studied economics, something for which he said he had no love. His heart was being given to his creative life and chief among his interests was dancing. So there you go. Hubert Stowitz, someone who was very impactful in Steve Reeves' life. And I find all that fascinating because I know in my own life, I've had situations like this that, you know, are hard to explain. You met someone, you know, you don't think too much about it. And then bam, you know, six months later, a year later, you look back and you say, wow, you know, that that is why you know this happened steve reeves one of a kind by milton t moore that's where steve uh has shows gratitude to hubert stowitz all right guys well that's all i have today i hope you enjoyed that i mean you know a lot of times on youtube you see steve reeves um you know workouts and you know, I do the picture shows, the photo stories, videos, which I love to do. But uh, this video, you know, I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper because there's a lot of people in Steve's life that um, impacted Steve. You know, he was a friend of J. Paul Getty. We know that JFK was a fan of Steve Reeves' films. Uh, it's been said that Winston Churchill had two uh, movie star idols or heroes one was steve reeves and the other one was john wayne so i'd like to dig a little bit deeper than you know steve's bodybuilding career and look a little bit deeper into some of these people that you know he interacted with throughout his life and then share those videos with you i hope you like that idea all right guys i will see you next time take care